Okay, so we just talked about acute renal failure pre-renal causes. Now let's talk about some intrinsic causes. Now here we see on the left, again, the renal artery, renal vein, they're considered part of the kidney. So if something damages the blood flow in, like a clot, you throw a clot from somewhere else in the body, and it lodges in the renal artery, what happens, of course, is now you're having decreased, if any, flow through the renal artery, and you get decreased blood flow, so you get decreased filtration, and that causes damage to the kidney. Now, similarly, if you get a clot or thrombosis in the vein, the renal vein, now there's backlog of pressure, and that can cause problems and um, damage to the kidney cells and the structure itself. So again, here on the bottom, we look at a functioning unit of the kidneys, which is a nephron, and we see again the glomerulus here. Now the glomerulus, if this gets damaged acutely, now we call these um, acute glomerular nephritis, right? Glomerular nephritis, makes sense. So then if we go further down to the proximal convoluted tubule, com proximal convoluted tubule, or proximal, which is closer, down the loop of Henle and the distal, which is further, convoluted tubule down to the collecting duct. If something plugs this up, like there's a supersaturation of um, crystals, uh, that can be a problem and cause damage. Or if there are certain proteins like in multiple myeloma, that can cause problems as well and damages um, the structure. Now, just these tubes here, this is depicted very simply. It's actually lined with epithelial cells, as we see here, right? And there are certain processes, including certain medications that can damage the cells of the tubule. So if the tubule cells die, they necrose. So what do we call that? Of course, we call it acute tubular necrosis because the tubular cells are necrosing, they're dying. Okay, so basically, that's the main structure here, but don't let's not forget what's actually in between is the interstitium. Interstitium um, is, of course, the connective tissue between all the structures and cells, um, and that can get inflamed. Um, we can have immune cells that actually get activated because of certain processes, and if the interstitium gets inflamed, now we have another process. Um, we call that acute interstitial nephritis, right? So interstitium, interstitial, and then nephritis, of course, meaning inflammation of the kidney. So interstitial nephritis. Now, oftentimes we can group the tubul tubular um, diseases and the interstitium into what we call tubulo interstitial nephritis. And we're, of course, we're talking about acute processes here, but there's also chronic tubulo interstitial nephritis. And a lot of the causes of that are the same as the acute causes. So there you have it. You have the major um, reasons and major categories of acute kidney injury from intrinsic causes.